Hello everyone, my name is Yuan. I'm going to talk about the excerpt of Daphne and Chloe by Ravel. I'm sure you all know the big solo in the pantomime of the third act. It is one of our most beautiful solos. And in this video, I'm going to talk about its background and share with you some other pieces that could be related to this solo. We all know this is about the story of Daphne and Chloe. But do you know that the very moment of our solo shares exactly the same story of Pan and Syrinx? This ballet was created in 1912, but before the creation of the ballet, Ravel had already published a piano reduction in 1910 and the first orchestra suite in 1911. The story of this piece was inspired by the novel of Longus, written probably in the 3rd century. In the story, Daphne and Chloe are both shepherds living on a small island. They grow up together and fall in love as teenagers. However, the birth of Daphne is quite different from um, the ancient Greek myth comparing to the novel. In the novel of Longus, Daphne was born in the family of a rich aristocrat, different from what is explained in the myth that he's a son of Hermes and a nymph. In the myth, there's a much closer relationship between Daphne and the god Pan, who taught Daphne's music and especially how to play the flute. In the scenario of Ravel, when Chloe was captured by the pirates, Daphne begged help from Pan, who saved Chloe and scared the pirates away. The old shepherd who adopted Daphne explained to the young couple that if Pan has saved Chloe, it is in memory of the nymph Syrinx. So in order to thank Pan for his help, Daphne and Chloe mime the story of Pan and Syrinx. Here, I will quote the scenario of Ravel. Chloe plays the young nymph wandering in the meadow. Daphne, as Pan, appears and declares his love. The nymph rebuffs him. The god becomes more insistent. She disappears into the reeds. In despair, Pan picks several stalks to form a flute and plays a melancholy air. Chloe reappears and interprets in her dance the accents of the flute. When we play this solo, it is the moment when Daphne plays the flute imitating Pan. I'm sure we all feel impossible not to think about 
Syrinx of Debussy, since it's the moment when Pan himself plays the flute. We can somehow also find a relationship between Daphne and Chloe with the first piece of Ferrou. Since its title is Berger Captive, which means Captive Shepherdess. When I first learned this piece, I have found its title quite confusing. As we know, captive has two meanings. However, the atmosphere of nature and freedom fits perfectly to pastoral art and shepherdess, but seems to me not very appropriate to the word captive. And I thought of Daphne and Chloe, and that this captured, this captive shepherdess is Chloe captured by the pirates. There's no proof anywhere indicating that Ferrou was inspired by Ravel while composing the, um, this first piece of his flute solo. But this is the only explanation that makes sense to my opinion.
At the end, I can't help but think of another great solo of our flute literature. The Dance of Blessed Spirits from the opera Orphée et Eurydice by Gluck. The opera is also inspired by an ancient Greek myth and our solo accompanies a ballet pantomime as well. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed the video.